Alrighty guys, Greg with Yankee Down South Adventures. Uh, I'm out at one of my customers' property. I'm trying to do a locket recovery, but the area goes back to way back, you know, 1800s or so. Not their house per se, but the property does. So uh, first target, she was walking with me. I got a shotgun shell, which I gave to her. A uh, little full little piece of aluminum with some writing or something on it. So she's going to take that and clean it up. She went to go feed her dog and. Uh, so this is where years ago she had they were she was chasing after a horse and she lost the locket. So we're gonna swing over here for an hour or so and see if we find it. If not, well whatever we find, we'll make sure we put it up on video for you guys. Alright guys, feed the next good target. Alrighty guys, Greg Yang down South Adventures. Little I don't know what it is, molten molten something. Anyway, rang up a fifteen on the knocks, about eight inches down. Anyway, guys, on to the next target. All right. All right, guys. This is a, whatchamacallit here, tube of some sort. First, I thought it was an old uh, watch, but yeah, then I realized it was a, that's a, try to see if I can focus there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Anyway, guys, no idea. Maybe we'll take pictures of it later, but I don't think it's going to have anything on it. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you at the next target. All righty, guys. Well, first I thought I had a button, but after cleaning it off and it's broken apart kind of weird, um, I believe it that it's going to be another shotgun head stamp. Um, so, we'll clean it up after the wrap-up maybe. Um, I'll be giving most of the fines hey to the homeowner. We actually got a coin, and I want to say I think it's just a nickel. But it was underneath a root, about eight inches down. Anyway, the homeowner went to go get a root snip, but uh, I don't know. I can't see, really see the date. Let me see if I can adjust it off a little bit better. See if you guys can see the date. All right, guys, Ooh. update. It was a 1968 Jefferson. <laughs> see you in the next time. All right, guys. Greg, Greg, Greg yank it down south. We're tired out here. Um, anyway, uh, just dug this chain up. If anybody knows what kind of chain it is, it seems pretty old um, leave a comment down in the uh, comment section below uh, another item that's gonna stay with the homeowner here she's gonna clean it up but uh, I'll let her know because we'll be back out here at some point but uh, thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next time alrighty guys well first real good find uh, we're gonna try to run this through some electrolysis in the, over the next couple days um, with the ugly box thanks to Frank I'm going to try to clean it up too. We think it's a bird, but we don't know. But uh, I'm going to put some photos up as well. Um, and you guys let me know what you think it is down in the comments down below. Rang in as a 1213 on the Knox. And I have another target. There was two of them. So I'm going to go and try to recover that one here. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, See guys. The next one. Day two out here at the hunt. Um, another one of those tube caps. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to get in there. It's a small tube of something, probably the smallest tube I've ever found, but anyway, that's going to go in her little collection. She's been having fun cleaning stuff off and, you know, renewed her interest in the history there. Where she lives, there's a lot of history, so anyway, guys, we'll catch you on the next great find. Alrighty, guys, Slim Pickens here. We're getting a bunch of pull tabs. We're still out here looking for that locket, just digging all repeatable signals. Um, anyway, as you guys can see, nice shotgun shell. Looks like an oldie. We'll have a picture. Have it in the wrap-up. Thanks for watching, guys. guys. I guess today is day of the shotgun head stamp. And this one. Let's see if we can wipe it off there. You know, I think it's another U.S. Defiance. Yep, number 12. And I know we already looked that up on Google after the last one. <clears throat> and it's the last shotgun show made by them was around 1926 before Winchester uh, they before they joined uh, companies so this is 1926 or earlier pretty cool all right guys on to the next hole